Hey, this is James from Resume Library, and today I'm going to show you how you can source millions of US candidates from inside Bullhorn using Resume Library. So first of all, to access Resume Library, you need to click Menu, Marketplace, and then Resume Library. If Resume Library isn't available for you yet, um, speak to your Bullhorn account manager and they can activate the integration for you. So when you've launched Resume Library, you'll be presented with a search screen like this. Now you can either search for candidates using Boolean strings and skills and job titles if you're an experienced and proficient Boolean searcher already. Alternatively, you can use the Resume Library Search Builder to start compiling and creating searches for you. So here I'm going to look for sales executives. So from here it's suggested groups of terms to add to the search. And I'm going to have a look for candidates in Boston. Now there are additional search filters that you can add, so you could look for candidates willing to relocate or any of these other filters as well for salary ranges, recency of records or even educational experience. But for now we're just going to leave it nice and simple and view the results. Cool. So from here we can see a preview of the results of the candidates and now it's just a case of scrolling through and choosing a candidate to look at. Start with I'm going to choose this record here. Now what you can see by default is that the candidate profile shows some of the information about the candidate but not all of it. So some of the personal identifiable information here has been redacted. And the reason for that is that with your resume library subscription, you will only get charged unlock credits for every time you click the unlock button. So the reason why this is great is because it's saving you money because you're only really choosing to access the candidates once you've reviewed their details of their resume to work out whether you think they're a good fit. And if you do think they're a good fit for your role, simply click unlock resume which will then provide the contact details for the candidate. Now, one thing to mention about Resume Library is it's one of the fastest growing candidate databases in the US. And one of the ways that we're able to do that is through our Alliance network. So when you're searching Resume Library, you're actually also searching candidates from lots of other databases and niche job boards as well. And this candidate here is a great example, which has actually been sourced through one of our Alliance partners. So from here, we've viewed the candidate, we've clicked unlock, and the final step is to click ATS import and select Bullhorn. Now what this is doing is this is sending Peter's record into your Bullhorn candidate talent pool. So let's go have a look in the candidate area in Bullhorn. Now what we can see here is Peter Gordon's record has been created and the source is shown as Resume Library. From here, you're able to view the full record of, of the candidate. All of the contact details have been imported over. The resume has been imported as well. And from here, you can then do any of the other actions you want to do with that candidate. Now, one of the cool things about the Resume Library and Bullhorn integration is that it has duplicate detection built in. So when you click Unlock on a candidate on Resume Library, it's checking to see whether that candidate already exists in your Bullhorn database. And for example, this candidate does already exist. So now it's warning you and saying that this candidate does already exist in your Bullhorn talent pool, and it's providing the information about when this candidate last updated their profile on Resume Library. So this really allows you to pick and choose whether you want to add candidates that you already have, but you may want to refresh and update their information, or actually you can save the credits and only import candidates that are new to you that you don't have any information on already. If you were to choose to import them, what it would do is it would create a new candidate record for this candidate, and then you could use the Bullhorn merge functionality to merge the two records together.
One of the other things you can do with the resume library integration is you can invite candidates to apply to your roles straight from this integration. So rather than going through each candidate one by one, you can use the invite to apply feature to contact multiple candidates at once. Now, if you don't use resume library already, just head over to resume-library.com forward slash hiring to find out more and register for an account. Thanks for watching.